Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Been waiting for these guys to get up. Edmund finally got up, but the rest of them are sleeping in. It's 7 in the morning, and yeah, they, they were up late last night. New Year's in the rain. Not a single fireworks went off. What a disappointment. We saw Umiar off, and I have decided that this is the order they're going home in. Edmund, Simon, Rita, Carter. These three are three of the four originals with Paulette, so it seemed appropriate they stuck together to the end. And Edmund and Carter are very similar, in, but Carter is more skilled and can has a higher physical skill, so he can carry more. So may as well be him to the end. And I'm sure he would want that anyway. Edmund was his son, right? Yeah, so he would probably want Edmund to go home first anyway and would probably outrank him as far as voting so that's what it would be now Edmund did you grab both of the piles of meat you did send him out here to go clean up what uh, Umiar didn't finish last night someone's got to get rid of the rest of the or load up all the rest of the bricks we got as far as here with a pile of them mm, malfunctioned wind turbine uh, Simon's off to get into the load of of carbon nanotubes. Rita, I said, get to cooking. She's, she could plant for the next uh, several episodes, but we need to keep the meals going in. At least the ones that we enjoy the most. The breads and buttermelon pies and meat pies. So Evan's bringing in another load of meat, which, yeah, it's pretty much uh, overwhelming the, the kitchen here. Are you coming in here? You are. There's still room somewhere, huh? Well, nope, it fit. Okay. Any slots left? One free slot there. <laughs> hmm. It would have been nice if... Uh, let's let's move these out. Well, it would have been nice if we could put meals right here. But, oh well. They'll be in here somewhere. We'll just have to find them. Anyway, um, Edmund's eating and not assigned to do anything. So let's see what he figures out on his own. I'm assuming it's going to be the wind turbine. He did. Okay. Carter is bringing in... Oh, he's doing last-minute butchering and bringing in some more meats. Somebody is going to probably take off and go and find that last pile of, of hides out there just to go bring it in. So I'll have to cancel that order if I happen to notice. Otherwise, wow, Simon's already there and back? No, he's just arriving. Okay. So what happens here when he makes his trips? He runs, he grabs the hundred, he grabs thirty. Interesting, they do it backwards. Uh -huh. Okay, so Edmund is just finishing up this job. Rita could use a meal soon, but you know, you could also make us some... Um, we did bread, we didn't do meat pie. So why don't you go do meat pie next? Uh, yeah. Or, did, or was it already meat pie? It was meat pie. Okay. So, maybe if I think of it, I'll cancel you and have you uh, do... Well, there's bread. Hmm. So, I guess you have covered it all. Okay. So, that's good. Oh, I heard that thing screeching in behind me. So, you landed over here. Oh, we got a humming fly. And, yeah, you're just hiding in the... Uh, in the in the brush there hoping that the the dead humming fly won't see you yep sneak up on it <laughs> all right so edmund is starting the the, the uh, transporting what's he is he just putting things away yeah so i guess it was just the five of them there so we'll probably get into moving some bricks around I'm trying to come up with something for us to accomplish while we're weeding our very few survivors away yeah, we, I think we've got a good defensive strategy here. I think we're pretty well fortified all the way around. Not a lot of construction left. I know one thing that needs to be done. This whole time we've had this VR system, I never noticed that you have to select the game in order to use it. Yeah. So, random first-person shooter, city builder. So that's Half-Life Alex. That's a, a cooking simulator survival game. 
Uh, was that this one? Um, farm manager. There's there's farming simulator. Hospital simulator. Let's do random. See what they come up with. And in fact, let's have Edmund give us a demonstration. What are we gonna do here? Uh, there you go. Uh, click away. Click away. I can't. Gotta click on nothing. There. So he's he's doing imaginary things right now. He's he's maybe doing the uh, the cooking simulator. What do you think? Is he, is he chopping onions? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, that's gonna lead to some comical uh, situations. All right, Carter is he, pff, he found the leather. Okay, are we are we done? No, we've got some oh some old rotting something, all right, rotting poo. I'm thinking. All right, he found his leather. He's gone to all this trouble. Just just bring it in. He says disgustedly. Okay, so manage for Carter and Edmund. I guess I could turn scavenge back on. There's not much else for them to do. Who can do tailoring? That's Simon. Simon needs to get into the fact I've got him as a one. Oh, he's transporting he is delivering as a one. Otherwise he should be dropping into tailoring. So we must have already finished our tailoring. Okay. So let's kick the shirts up one more. We got at least two that are about to end. And he's got the most skill to do that. Okay, so if that's the case, then yeah. Give Carter and Edmund something to do. Although they've got cutting to do. Where are we at there? Our hay and our sticks. Our wood. Our stone. Actually, we're pretty good cutting-wise. All of these jobs are done. All of... We're here. These jobs are done. Yep. Now there is mining to do, but I don't know if there's any more mining nearby that means anything. I could have them come out and just clean these up just to get a little more stone in, but I can't see any reason to need it. So that's probably just a, a waste of time. What was that? We suddenly turned dark at 1800. No warning at all. And what's the crackling noise? I would think it was a furnace running. I guess it's the fireplace. Okay. Temperatures inside? I haven't looked for a while. 87 degrees indoors. We're starting to warm up. Hmm. Scavenged six. Whoa, really? Where is that? Is that Edmund? No. Carter? No. Scavenged six. Who? Oh, the box that was sitting right here. Okay, I forgot all about that. So he just went over there and tapped that for a while. Now that I think about it, I did hear a bunch of tapping noises and didn't really uh, notice what that was. So, looks like this is probably going to be a shorter episode. We're already near the end of day one, and I'm like eight or nine minutes into this. So, we ran the other one. Well, start at 7 in the morning. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not running at more than just first speed or speed 1. Edmund is going to scavenge something. Why do they go to the furthest one away? What am I not getting there? Why not just get this done? I don't get it. I don't get it. Some of the things these... These guys have done that made no logical sense through the series. I thought about maybe having Rita come and try to tame a couple of these as something else to do. I don't know where to house them. I really don't. We could put a pen right in here. It's just not very hospitable. It's really not. 
Uh, it's just a gravel hillside. It just, it looks ugly. Um, we can't really protect them out here. So they're going to be sitting ducks. Here we could kind of incorporate this as part of our, our space. We probably could. Let's think about that. Let's just play with this for a little bit. If we were to oh, come up like this. Let's pause this so that Edmund doesn't run over and start building it. And run you through. I can break you at this point. Because I don't think... Yeah, we could put a, a, a man gate here and here. Well, if this went away... See how that interacts with that one. If we get rid of that one and that one. So who's nearby so we can see what this is like? Ah, eh, you're busy. And Carter just arrived over there. So Edmund, on your way back in. Well, let's see what you're going to haul, though. That's a problem. Rita is out here planting the uh, smoke weed, or what are we calling this stuff? Smoke leaf. And Simon is eating and getting oh generators are firing up first time in a long time our wind must really be down down to oh, 20 out of 40 it was that way last time too it was doing good then are right, you planting more of the sweet or the buttermelons okay edmund yeah you got a long way to go carter is so much faster he started later that is physical they're not that far different Anyway, you just got a hold of some more scrap metal. So, Carter, when you're done, you need to eat and do all kinds of things. Okay, I'll leave you alone. In fact, let's just make sure you actually do these things. Grab some bread. Now, where would bread be stored? I know we have some. We just made it. But I don't see the shelf that has it. Not in there, not in there. Not over th there it is. So Carter, grab the bread. And you're the only one now that likes bread. It was Umiar that liked it as well. And then make sure you get some relaxation and do this one and do this one. And then you'll head to bed. Okay, so Edmund, you have less to do. How much you gotta haul in? That's what I'm curious about. Can we skip the hauling part? What are you going to find? All right. Home stretch. Here it comes. What's it going to be? What is it? I'm seeing a single CPU. I think that's what I'm seeing. Hmm. Okay. Tell you what, we'll pick it up tomorrow. Edmund, take this down. Deconstruct and deconstruct. Let's see this happen. You gonna do it? You're not gonna do it. Edmund getting something to eat. Deconstruct, there it goes. Okay. And deconstructing, deconstruct. But now you're not running. Draft. You were running before when I had to do with getting something to eat. Who is that? Carter's delivering his his uh, goods. And... Edmund. Deconstruct. Why did it say already doing it? Oh, okay. That's strange. But it had the symbol of getting something to eat over the top of him. Hmm. And this one. All right. So can I run the stairs backwards from here? Um, you copy. I can. Oh, I can. Right there. Okay. So we can build that little thing. And then we can copy. Hmm. Uneven terrain. We can do something like. Oh, that's as far as that goes, huh? Okay, so let's try from this side. Here to here. 
It won't let me extend. It won't let me extend. It'll let me go to here. But, oh, and it will let me go to here. Okay, I guess we're doing that. But we have to pull this back. So, reduce field to... I guess to that. Okay. Now, copy. From there, it will not. It'll let me go... No, it won't let me do that either. Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, we need a little bit more control over basic terraforming. Um, boy. Wait, wait. Is it tomorrow? Edmund, did you sleep? You didn't sleep. Did we work through the night? Okay, Edmund, when you're done, you're going to bed. Yeah, right there. This bed gets torn down. So, deconstruct that, somebody. And everybody else slept? Uh, Carter, you did not either. Okay, so after that, you get to bed. Yeah, our, our, our schedules are all messed up right now. Alright, so... How do we make this work? We're just too uneven to try to put a pen in here. Hmm. And do we relocate these guys? Unfortunately, they'll be close to, you know, to, to making berries real soon. I mean, they're, they're mature plants. But we don't truly need them, do we? And yeah, we've, we've got like 3,000 bush fruits right now. Or I don't know if all that's in the freezer or some of it's still out on the ground. So let's try just seeing what it will let us do. Can we shoot a cargo pod? So we can't go there. And try again. It's kind of hard to see this. Why is it giving me all the all the circles when I'm putting in fencing? Hmm. Okay, I can do that. Can I come down here? I can. Okay, now we're well. We got as far as here. Okay. If I try and do that now, we're there now. We're no. <laughs> Yeah, and we're there, and we're there. So that's all it will let us build. Oh, you really want us to know about these cargo pods, don't you? Okay, cargo pod made a crash landing in the close vicinity. If left as is, anything salvageable will perish in the following days. All right, fine, I'll take a look. Only if it's within a few hours, though. Expedition cargo... There you are. 11 hours away. Now, nope, not that important. Okay. So that's a potential pasture. Too bad I can't hydro seed it. Get some grass in there. Um, so if we wanted to have any other animals, that is defendable in a sense. But even that's not true. They've come up and busted through all of this before. You know, that is true. We would be shooting them from these three points if they're attacking us from this side and they're just going to go right through these. Or at the very least, they're going to scare the occupants of it horribly. I just don't see where else we can house any other animals. Just don't. Unless we drop a... Unless we incorporated this into it. And open that up. Drop a fence across here. Or something. Open that up and let them share the space. Get another barn here, maybe. Is that possible? Uh, this one? Not really. Now, uneven terrain all the way through. Um, we could kind of do it there. Mm. Okay. I'm trying to come up with 
something to make these last episodes a little more exciting and I'm kind of striking out here. <laughs> Grab me all the construction projects. Alright, turn that all off. Okay, well, that didn't work. I don't think that's going to be functional. These can go away. We don't have any need for them anymore. We have all these ready to harvest as far as I know. Well, they may have reset through the winter. But they also make the sweet syrups. Um, so if we did that, we would need to abandon probably two of these spaces over here. We don't necessarily... Well, yeah, we, leathers and other things are landing over here. Okay. And we could, if we got rid of these, right now we're using one, two, three, four of them. We could squeeze some into there. What was that last thing? Rita's got pneumonia. Where is Rita right now? She is waiting treatment. Simon, because Edmund's not around. He is around. Okay, Simon, or Edmund, you treat Rita. Oh, you're waking up just in time. Do you get the order on your own? You are deconstructing a bed. Nope. Heal Rita. There you go. You take care of her. Simon is transporting. Okay. He was transporting three. There were six. No, Carter got six. I don't know where the three came from now. Alright, you are now going to load some shroom torches. And I think we'll just let you do your own thing for a while and kind of get caught up in all the little projects around here, like all the bricks that are just laying around the place. Um, hmm. So we've got one, two, three, four. And one could be squeezed into there. So we have three, which... Yeah, we're still going to be short. No matter what, we're going to be short here. We could eliminate some things. We could. What are you? You're, you're the whole still. Okay. And the still's running. We're still making moonshine. <laughs> we're not drinking it, but we're making it. Um, no, not anymore. I didn't know that was still running. Okay, you, you go away. And let's do this then. I think we're kind of done using these guys. We have plenty of antibiotics, plenty of pickled vegetables, right? There's 600 and some. Wine? Where is wine? Other? No. Wine. I don't remember ever seeing that in a list. Where are the boozes? Um, what are you? Medicines. Okay. Others. There we go. Wine? We have none. Okay, because we used it for cooking. Let's send wine up. And these are mirroring that one. You can go away. You can go away. And when those do, we can put two more of these here. And we can pull two of these out. And then fence across. We can get the fencing in right now. You copy... The fencing can go... Hmm. Can they walk through that space there? I think they can. In which case, the fencing could go all the way to there. These two go away. That becomes a solid wall again. Unless it doesn't rebuild as a solid wall. That's possible. Uh, Simon, boy, thank you. I'm, I'm still kind of thinking about things. But, um, yeah. I can't go inside with the fence. I cannot go inside with the fence. Okay. Um, yeah, hold on, guy. I need to drop gates into here, too. In convenient places. Like right here. Coming off the back of the stairs. So right there. So that kind of a gate looks like that copy back of the stairs drop right in there and give me another one probably down in this area there should be one like like so okay and we can just use the the one big 
animal gate, which is now where? We had to move that. Or get rid of it. It's right here. We don't have one now. Okay. So I guess we need to put one in. So, oh, we put it over here. That's what we did. Okay. So let's put another one of those in. Suppose, well, kind of like right here. Yeah. So copy. Uh, did I not grab both? Oh, you're going this direction. There we go. So it'd have to be right there. And can it go in? It can. So right there. So see, Simon, you, you jumped the gun there, and you don't know what you're doing yet. And I think that's in the wrong place. So you are going to go right there. You are going to cancel. And you are going to go between the two gates. All right, I like that better. Now what you going to do? Huh? Transporting wood. Okay. <laughs> Okay, just pretend like nothing happened and fill it all in. All right, can you do some more? Thank you. So, yeah, we'll build that. We'll take these two out. We'll take these out. We can get one more of these guys into here. And maybe Rita can go out and play with what I call flatheads for a while. What are they called again? What's their official name? They're up in here? Where do we see them? Wherever Carter was, you guys. Draca, right? Dracas. Yeah, just came back to me. So maybe we'll go for a couple of those just to see what it's like to have them roaming around on our property as pets, as, as livestock. Uh, same. Okay, that. Well, except for this one. Is there a problem with the one? Let's see if you're going to. Oh, there you go. Okay. Alright, so Carter is petting an Ulfin because that's how he rolls. Rita is doing some more cooking. So, I don't think that's the cooking assignment that I gave her. I think she's doing that on her own. So, she must be uh, finished out here. Edmund is transporting 11 somethings. First aid kits. Has he been uh, busy? No, they're not on that list. Oh, okay, they're right there. Alright, turn that off so I can see this pop in. Or hear them pop in. Now, where are we? So Carter's building the fences now. Rita is transporting hay. Oh, she's feeding animals. Okay. Simon is transporting... What is that? Cloth? Cotton? What does that mean? Oh, there's some laying on the ground here. In that bed. Okay. And how are you doing? No, you don't need any relaxing. I'd like to see somebody else. Edmund, you've already uh, you already played on the virtual reality system. You get somebody new. Okay, so Carter's popping all these together real quick. Rita is going to go make some more bread. Okay, so we are done with our planting. Perfect. So you copy insufficient storage space for something. And put you right here. Why does it? Okay, that's that didn't work. So wooden wall. I thought I clicked on this. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. That's what freaked everything out. Okay, I want you to go from here to here. All right. Simon is filling up more alloy or more furnaces. And so if those two went over there, we could... Um, can I control click? No, I can't. I can do this. Oh, I can't. There we go. There. Very precise. All right. So if I deconstruct those. Insufficient storage space. So I need Simon? Yeah, Simon, when you're done, run over here. Transporting eight and then none. Yeah, run over here and do this. Edmund was going to, but I don't know how far away he is. Which I don't know where he is. Edmund. Oh, you're out over there. Okay. Oh, so Edmund is emptying things that were over here. I guess there's space inside. 
but all right so you're gonna get you're gonna start filling it up right off the bat <laughs> okay so Edmund if you want something to do you can get out there and tear those apart let's see if you do it on your own you're transporting oh you're emptying them okay well you could I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen here we have a way to get them back. Oh, we need to close this. So close that. So Edmund first, handle the gate. Okay. And then, can you deconstruct those? Apparently not. Oh, okay. Move that over there. So I was hoping that meant that those were already unoccupied. Well, you got your hammer out, so you're going to be doing something now. Oh, we have a lot of bricks coming in. We do. Oh, that's leather that's coming in. Okay. So you're tapping those away. Well, I guess we could just tear this guy down, even though there's there's stuff on the ground still. So one of you guys deconstruct the shelter. And let's see if this side pops back in. It does. Okay. So that effectively is a fence to a fence to a fence. All right, so now we have a new enclosure. And before you guys all go to bed, um, all of these can go away. No, it won't let me. There, there. Because they are no longer needed, right? We are enclosed. We are enclosed. So Edmund is transporting, but that's not as much of an issue. Let's continue tearing down. Uh, Deconstruct. Deconstruct and tear this guy down and deconstruct. You should be able to just fly through all of that. So with that we've expanded our pasture, our, our animal pen. There we go. And we could go pick a couple or uh, a pair of Draka for taming. Got, uh, is that mom or baby? That is baby. That's mom there. She's gotten darker. Her horns are longer. Yeah. I don't remember her. I thought she looked a little closer to this color when we first got her. So she's she's gotten a little older. Uh, Edmund is bench pressing. Carter is grabbing something to eat. It is 2100. He doesn't need a lot of rest. So right after that, you can deconstruct this one. And then you can deconstruct uh, those. Okay. Alright, with that done, let's pick some Draka. And they don't have to be the very closest ones. Let's find kind of a younger... Do we have age? We have large female. No sense of age. Observed by... No, just that they're large rather than young or something like that. Youth or what have you. Okay, female and male. Tame, tame. And we'll just see how that goes. You are large male, you are large female. So we have a backup pair if something goes wrong there. And that's probably for tomorrow's episode. No more calling from, uh, from space from out there. Um, Rita is drinking. Instead, Rita wants you VR. Drinking is a uh, is a relaxant or uh, an entertainment, I assume. A happiness booster, at the very least. So which game are you going to get? I wonder if there's different animations for each, uh, each category there. So what does this look like? Nope, she's chopping onions too. So maybe it's the same animation no matter what. Okay, I wondered. <laughs> 
Can I look in a window? Uh, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what she's up to. Okay, so Prince is asleep. Carter just tore down the last of this. And this can be... Yeah, it's so ready to, to tear down. We're transporting. Simon's got a lot of little transportings to do. And a lot of bricks to pick up around the whole property. Otherwise, I think we are done for today. Yeah, I think we'll call it quits here. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.